The sixth typhoon of the season, Kanun, is expected to make landfall on South Korea on Wednesday. Government authorities are now on high alert, raising its typhoon alert level to the highest serious. Kim Mogan reports. Typhoon Kanun is expected to make landfall on South Korea's southern coast as early as late Wednesday and proceed northward to North Korea, putting the entire peninsula under its influence through Saturday. The Korean Meteorological Administration says Kanun, which was heading north from the waters of Japan's Kagoshima as of Tuesday, is expected to first reach waters off South Korea's southernmost Jeju Island at 9 p.m. on Wednesday. Weather experts say once it makes landfall, the typhoon may remain very strong in intensity, with its central pressure forecast at 970 hectopascals and maximum wind speeds of up to 126 kilometers per hour. It's also expected to dump downpours of up to 500 milliliters nationwide. Weather agencies worldwide have forecast the typhoon to move towards the west as it ascends, which means there's a high chance of it directly affecting the capital region by late Thursday. Government authorities held a Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters meeting on Tuesday to discuss prevention measures. It raised its four-tier typhoon alert level to the highest serious and initiated a level three emergency operation of the Disaster Response Headquarters, which is also the highest. Officials called for all-out measures and regular checks on areas and facilities vulnerable to the rain, such as reservoirs, riversides, and underground parking lots. In the event of a flood, support will also be given to people with disabilities and senior citizens who live alone. The government will keep citizens aware of necessary forecasts regarding the typhoon and provide appropriate instructions through text messages and public broadcasts. As of 3 p.m. Tuesday, a typhoon advisory has been issued in coastal areas surrounding Jeju Island. The weather agency forecasts that warnings could expand to the upper parts of the country by Thursday. Kim Mogyan, Arirang News.